functions. And we have got a last one, uh, which is a sum product, uh, which is a special function because, in fact, it is a kind of array uh, function, but it, uh, you, you don't have to apply what you should normally do with, um, with arrays. Uh, so, as you see, the syntax is, for some products, within the function, your parameters are the different arrays you would like to apply them. So we will give a very simple example. Uh, could you uh, cancel uh, this one? And uh, type, for instance, just uh, uh, in uh, G13. G13, you type, well, it doesn't matter, you type three uh, digits in G13, 14, and 15. Ran random digits, doesn't matter. No, oh, you're there. It would be better because you, ha you, you have put it in two rows. It would be better if you put three, six, and eight uh, in the same column. Yes, yes, you can put four digits if you wish. And then in a column H, you put uh, other digits. It doesn't matter, it's just to show the principle. Three digits, yes. Okay, and then in any cell, you, you can type or you go into FX. You choose some project. Yes, so your first array is uh, the first uh, having uh, the three from G. So you can select uh, from uh, G, yes, those three. And the second array will be uh, next, yes, those ones, yes. And you can click on OK. And what, what has happened? In fact, the sum project is an array, so it has done uh, 3 times 5, which is 15, then 6 times 9, which is 54, and 8 times 1, which is 8. So 54 and 8 is uh, 62. 62 plus 15 gives you 77. So you see, it multiplies uh, the cell in the first column by the equivalent cell in the second column, and then it sums all the products. This is why it is called some product. And you, you've seen it works on arrays. It's got a first array uh, in the column G here, and the second array is in uh, column H, and it multiplies. You use them very frequently when you have, for instance, quantity and price. You see, if you would like to know, instead of having, for instance, you could, you could do it differently. You could, for instance, in, in cell uh, I13, you could do equals, equals G13 times G13 times H13. Yes, and then uh, choose, select 15, and then go yes, and then Below, you would do the sum of the three, you see? And it would give you 77, but this is long. You see, you have to do uh, first the first formula, then to uh, select it and then go down, and then uh, type another formula for the sum. You have it in one go with a sum product. With a sum product, you, you mention the two arrays, and you will have um, the sum of the different products of all the cells, uh, in each column. You see, this is one uh, way to use it, but when is it interesting, and I will show it on this file, is when you apply this with criteria. So, how do we do this? Could you delete uh, all the, uh, the cells for the examples there? Yes. And uh, in, for some project, we will try uh, equal some project, and then within uh, within the first, we will uh, type um, with the absolute uh, value this time. We'll see if it gives this OK. So we will type dollar $D2, dollar $2, sorry, dollar $D, dollar $2, dollar $D, dollar $2, until dollar $D, dollar 145 and then 
the comma, yes, and uh, double hyphen, open the parenthesis, uh, type A2, A2 until A145 equals, uh, within double quotes, Janvier. And then uh, you need to close it. Yes, and this one, could you type OK to see what it gives? OK, we will see if this is correct. Uh, yes. And type uh, yeah, all, the, to select all uh, the cells below, yes, in D, until the end. And I see 10,159.60, yeah. yep. Okay, you see, that's it. Uh, so the sum product with a criterion. And for instance, with this, uh, you can uh, do um, some other, you can apply also very different, um, I'm going to try to find an example uh, where you can find absolutely uh, different a criteria, it is um, any cell outside, yes, equals some project. And then we open um, parentheses and we type B2 until B145 equals within double quotes, Northwest. Uh, Northwest uh, a D, there is a D missing, and you need to add the double quotes, yes. Uh, multiplied, so times outside, outside the, no, 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 not there, outside the parenthesis, go outside the times, and then you opened second parenthesis, C2, until C145 equals within double quotes, Alsace, yes, and then outside uh, the parentheses multiplied times, open the parentheses D2 until D145 and close the parentheses. Now, before doing enter, you must have the same number of left parentheses as right parentheses. Is it the case? I will see one, two, three, four, and you have one, two, three, four. Yes, you can say, say enter. Okay, we will see if this is correct. So what did we say? We wanted to have Northwest, but uh, first, you have to untick the month. The month is not correct. You have to tick all in the month. Yes, all. Yes. Okay. So Northwest. This is then uh, Alsace, and then we have to check if this. What does it give in the taskbar? Three four zero eight. Three four zero eight, which is correct. Which is correct. So this is an example of the sum product when you use different criteria. You see, we've uh, chosen a criterion for the region, a criterion for appellation, and we have multiplied it by uh, the column which contains uh, the numbers upon which you will apply the sum. And in fact, what is this multiplication? In fact, uh, B2 until B145 equals no rest. This is an array which will have zero when it is false and one when it is true. The same for C2 to C145 equals Alsace. It will be zero when it is false and one when it is true. And D2, D145 is, is um, the number which is in the cell D2, then D3, and so on. So what do you have? You have in the first column 0 or 1, in the second column 0 or 1, and in the third column, <coughs> sorry, you've got all um, the amount of, uh, of sales. So when 
you've got a zero either in the first column or the second column, it doesn't count. But when you have both ones, so it means the region is Northwest and the type of one is Alsace. You've got two, two ones, that is true. You multiply one by one by the number in column D, and then you sum all of these. So you've made the sum for uh, the region Northwest when the type of one, the type of wine, sorry, is Alsace. And so this illustrates the power of some product if you want to use only one function and apply different criteria within that function. And you see, you can go very far because here we have only four columns, but if you had 10 or, or 15 or 20 columns, you could apply it as much as you want until you have what you're looking for.